Hey, welcome back to our Shine Design channel. Today I'll show you how to merge a beautiful sky in Photoshop. First, here is a stunning photo of bright in sunset, and this is a sky that I want to merge to the original sky. Let's select and copy it by pressing Ctrl or Command A and Ctrl or Command C in the order. Move to the project and paste it with Ctrl or Command V. It's quite small to reside. Use Ctrl or Command T. Click and move it up to match with the sky of background. Then OK. Next, just reduce the opacity and you will see how the sky blends each other. Let's put it back. Now we have to select the sky of the background. To do that, turn off layer 1. Pick Quick Selection Tool, double shortcut. Click and drag to select the whole sky. Some mountains are also selected. Let's click to the minor brush icon and click to this mountain to subtract the selection. Then we reverse the select by using Ctrl or Command Shift I. Add feather to it by pressing Save F6. The radius around 0.5 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command J to take the selection to another layer. Now, the sky up background is removed in layer 2. Take new sky layer, put it in under layer 2. Alright, it's perfectly matched, right? Click to layer mask icon and add layer mask. You erase the tool, adjust the opacity to 30% and slightly expand over the middle which is the cross of the sky and trees mountain to soften it. Next step, we'll add the reflection of sky to the leg. Select layer 2, use quick selection tool again to select all of the leg. Make sure to pick the plus brush in the middle before making the selection. For some area apart from the leg, you select accidentally. Use minor brush to remove it. Then press Shift F6 and add 0.5 feather radius to it and press delete. Duplicate the sky by pressing Ctrl or Command J, then Ctrl or Command T. Zoom out a little bit. Click to the top of middle point and pull down to the bottom to flip the sky into the leg. Then adjust the opacity to see the changes. Soften the middle with eraser tool again for layer 1 copy. Select layer 1 copy, head to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now we will blur the reflection to make it look realistic. Set the radius at 5 pixels. Let's add some motion to it as well. Go to filter, blur, motion blur. The angle is 90 degree and distance is 61 pixels. Okay. Reduce the opacity a little bit more. After that, we we'll darken some specific areas such as trees, house, the bridge, and bright. Create a curve adjustment layer by click to the adjustment icon and select curve. Pull down the mid tone, and you can see the whole image is quite dark right now. Press Ctrl or Command I to reverse the white layer mask to black color. You press tool. Opacity to 30%. White is in foreground. Let's just paint to the areas we want to apply the effect. Next, adjust the color with color palette. Click to adjustment icon and select color palette. Let's reduce red to minor 12. Green to minor 2 and blue to minor 15.
create another curve adjustment layer to add contrast to the image. Increase highlight and decrease shadow in RGB channel. Move to blue channel, pull down white a bit and increase black. Finally, we'll brighten the furthest mountains and the sky areas above them. This way to increase the depth of field in the image. Create a new layer. Use brush with the foreground color is orange, which is matching with the sky tone. Change the blending mode to screen and paint to brighten it. Checking back the result to see what we have done. Hope that you will like this tutorial. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel to update the latest tutorial day by day. And feel free to leave comments in case you have any questions. Thank you and bye bye.